誰か来ているみたいだな Greetings everyone, this is BJ Black from No Export for You and welcome to part 135 of my Let's Play of Ama Yui Castle Meister. So, the defensive perimeter that so many of the residents have been working on looks like it's coming together. So, in this situation, when anything can happen that they're setting up to defend themselves is a big relief. <sighs> Alright then, looks like the work's pretty much done. Yeah. <sighs> So, since we've done this much preparations, no matter who attacks me, we'll be all right. Oh man, I'm hungry. Let's go eat. So, 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 let's go So, then let's go to a shop and have a drink or... Hmm. Hey, is something shaking? What? What? The wind is shaking! Oh, it's Fia. She must have had to sneeze. Oh, no. The ground is shaking. Huh, funny. So, the residents in the courtyard are all shook up. And it seems like something's bothering them. So, the sand in the vicinity of the castle has started to well up. Goawa! Hmm. This is another background we've seen before with, uh... Um... Uh, that thing. Superimposed on the front of it. The hell is that? So, along with these big rumblings... Something came out from under the sand. So it looks like a pro pretty formidable device here. Some kind of weapon. And since it's showing itself, it's pretty much... Well, let's face it, it's glaring at us. <laughs> Although I can't see its eyes. <laughs> So, guy number one says it's a snake with an incredibly big mouth. <laughs> he says it's looking at us. He's not going to attack, is he? How can you tell what it's looking at? Although I guess you can tell what it's... <laughs> hey, what the fuck is that? I didn't hear anything about something like that coming. Hmm. It's big. So. Hearing a commotion, even more of the residents have come out into the courtyard. So, those things around us weren't actually broken weapons. So, don't tell us that the whole thing was connected. Alright, this kid says that coming out of its mouth, there's our smaller ones coming. So, kind of like Wallacuna Castle, that can also hold soldiers within itself. So, there are a great number of mechanical soldiers headed this way. Oh man, sucks to be you guys. So, these residents shouldn't be able to fight or shouldn't have a lot of fighting power in any direct sense. 
So they should, you know, not gather in the courtyard, run away and hide. But they know that it's not the time and place for that, and they've made their preparations. Elf guy says, hey, I'm holding a bow now. Uh, anyway, now is not the time to panic. Get to the defenses so we can... Get to the defenses so we can do this thing. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's right. It's for this purpose that we did all these preparations. So, before we find a way to save our goddess, we can't let, allow ourselves to be defeated. So we've got to withstand this somehow. Well, a little late here. The important people show up. So they confirm what's going on. It's glaring at us. There are weapons coming. So we ready our weapons and... Oh, so there was something in the sand. Thanks for telling everybody, Avaro. Nice work. So this is why we didn't know it was coming. Seems like the thing that made the ground shake before was this guy. Yeah, thanks for telling everyone, Avaro. You take the time in battle to notice and then you let it sit for three days. In any case. We start giving orders to get the non-combatants protected. All right, knights and elves. Make sure to protect the people who can't fight. And we're going to buy some time. We're heading out on the front lines and protecting the castle. Let's go. So, all this stuff that the residents have prepared, we're going to use and we're going to chase them off. How nice. <laughs> oh. Oh, really? Whatever. Alright, this is the thing. Or rather, this is the on map representation of the thing. It reminds me of Tiamat from Hinagari. Hell, they may have even reused the sprite for all I know. Okay. Basically, it's another one of those things that can shoot nine spaces. That really hurts, you know. Now, in my trial run, I didn't let anybody into the space that I didn't think could handle a hit or two. But it really liked attacking Eel for some reason. So... The only thing that keeps Eel alive when she's in there is dodge. That long range attack is 100 percent chance to hit. Eel now has 77 percent chance to dodge. That is pretty awesome actually. So uh, first priority. Now something I did in my trial run was I decided to run in and attack it with Ramen. First of all, it's weak against lightning, and second of all, Ranin has a ton of magic attack. This thing has 400 hit points. In one round of battle, she did 
480 hit points worth of damage to it. So that'll pretty much solve your problem. As long as you don't mind getting double drops, which is something I'm going to do. Mikheyu, you weren't on the list. Hey, 30 blue seeds, huh? Hmm. Let's see. Fire swords. Already equipped. Now, I don't understand the... Oops. I should have summoned before I surrounded Fia. I don't fully understand the boss's AI here. Because it'll attack Eol even if she's, you know, the furthest away from it. Sometimes it's attacking Kisnir. Well. Whatever. Oh, it also has an area of effect attack. I hope it doesn't kill anything in one shot. That would suck. Ah, oh, nuts. Well. Yep, fire swords. That went well. Yeah, see? Area of effect attack and attacks Kisnir. Hmm, she's kind of hurt. Ah, perfect dodge twice in a row. Sucks to be you. But the monsters really come out here. Navarro is pretty much useless against them. You basically need to use lightning attacks. Deedhelm has a good one. Eol also has one that's serviceable. But those things also have determination, which makes them hard to take down. Ha! And she charmed it. Sucker! Large healing potion. Times five. Oh, man. You know what they say when they... When the game gives you a bunch of stuff, bunch of equipment, that means you're about to get your ass kicked. Oh yeah, I should think about a way to make sure she stays alive. Yeah, these guys start hurting once their determination kicks in, but Detail can still hurt them more. Looks like I've updated his equipment since the last time. I thought, since the last time I thought I did. Haha. <laughs> Alright, do your thing, Karin. Oh, jeez. These things and their stinking blocking and countering and crap. Oh, I couldn't do it with... Do this, Avaro. That's a counter. And that's a block. You suck, Avaro. No, Kisner's going to need more healing than that. So, heal a borrow. Oops. Okay, keep up with that, but... No. 
Well, I guess that particular golem could have chosen from any of those three characters that were two spaces away. But seriously, Rishu is probably the worst choice. Now, if possible, you would want Rishu fighting these guys. Since she's resistant to... Oh, this is the first. I don't think I've seen it attack Fiat before. Oh, jeez. Don't do it twice. Well. At least she survived. Haha, <laughs> burn! Now, as you can see, these guys come out at a pace too fast for Rishu to take care of all of them. The easiest thing to do would be to have a run and kill everyone. Kill one every turn. But then. What are you equipped with? Nothing. And no shield. That's right, I did something with you in that map that I played off screen last time. Um, um, lightning. Oh, she's gonna get hurt pretty hit, hit pretty hard here. But she'll probably kill it. Ouch. Pretty hard indeed. Okay, now you got the flame sword planning for. Huh. Probably shouldn't try to fish anyone off with this, but she can do some decent damage while they're still healthy. Once their determination is in full force, it would be kind of like attacking with Eol to be attacking with her. Detail is also pretty effective here. Rishu, though, seriously, she has her earth defense. Hmm. Looks like Avaro has good earth defense as well, so both of them would be good tanks. Avaro, however, has no lightning attacks, so. Hmm. He can't do much once they get determined and their defense goes up. Now, your job, Karin, is to get in close. And I mean, seriously, you're not my most dangerous character until... Oops. I need to heal you all. Like, badly. Chop, chop. Oh! Two dodges. And to kill it. I wasn't expecting that out of you, Eel. I'm surprised. I'm very, very proud of you, but I'm surprised. Kill this one, too. Mm, well, good job, anyway. Look, not this again.
What is wrong with this guy? That's not how this works, sorry. I specifically took the time to heal. Yorin, stand here next to your goddess and protect her. No, you were supposed to attack Eel so she could kill you. Bastard. <sighs> oh, great. Conveniently, Eel survives. Oh, of course. Since Eel's low on life, we get to attack her. Bat dodge, bat dodge. Ha! Sucker. Oh. Now yeah, go ahead, attack him. Jeez, more of them. Let's see. You have a... No bad idea. How about this? Decent damage. If it didn't get... Determination. Yeah, it says 16, but it would do like 3. better level up that first time. Let's see if Rishu can handle this instead of Kisnir. Oh, jeez, these guys. Fine, we'll do Kisnir first, see if that happens. And then Rishu can finish it off. Ah, life's not fair. Eat lightning bolt. You get it? Because crossbows shoot bolts. And they're lightning. Look, I don't even know who's going to attack who until... Funny. What? Good job, Yorin. That's why you're here for. Oh. This will work. More of them. That is even more of them. I'm getting sick of these guys. Well, let's try and close this portal here. Oh, I forgot to mention, that grinding I did off-screen, at the end of that, all of my characters were level 38. He was gotten a level up this time, but I thought that was funny. Like, maybe I deserve a prize. They get prizes for this kind of thing, right?
Chop, chop. You, you are such a good girl, it's not even funny. Hmm. Stand here looking pretty, Yorin. Okay. Great, that guy is in determination. Now, I could kill this one, or weaken this one. Oh, come on! Or I could get no kills in, see if I care. Alright, see here? I could totally end it right now. Uh, yeah. That's pretty much a waste of everybody's time. Hmm. Well. I don't want to head for the treasure until it's a little safer. Let's uh, heal somebody. Kiznir could actually use some healing. Oh no, Karin is cut off from the rest of the group. Whatever shall he do? Well, I know what I'm going to have him do. I'm going to have him thwack the boss until he gets into his determination. But really, the difficulty is getting to the boss, not killing the boss. Oh, here we go again. Could she...? Mm. Oh, great. Attack power! I love attack power, but... Oh, haha. -ha. You do no damage, except you're in determination, so you're going to kill Kisner. Ha. That was an activation of her shield ability and then a dodge. But she's alive. I don't think I could ask for more. Okay, so I could ask for a lot more. I'm just not asking for more right now. No oh, decisions, decisions. You know what, Kissinger's doing well enough on her own. Oh jeez, these last few hit points are... Oh, I know. Heal's got a good quantity of hit points left. And she dishes it out. Oh no, Yorin, you go after. Fia goes. Hmm. Perfect. Alright. This is good. Standing next to Rishu, she'll get some protection if the boss should attack her. And all those golems. Hmm, okay, no. Now you have to pay attention to Kaorin. Still, that long range attack he uses all the time takes 10 spell points every time. You can't get, just keep spamming it every turn for more than, you know, 10 turns in a row. So yeah, I guess basically every turn is what we're looking at. But 
bat face when you, your spellcasters are too strong. Oh, jeez. Okay. Head for the whirlpool, Alvaro. You suck! Well, he's at his stat caps in three different stats if I recall properly. Ouch. <laughs> and it does the long range attack on Karin, which is who is standing right in front of him. But I'm man, I hate those area of effect attacks. Okay, Eel and Avaro are going to take that whirlpool. After that, Eel's gonna head back for that treasure. And the remainder gets to head up here. While we start healing everybody. Man, you know what? Nobody pays any attention to Yorin. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. What have you been doing all this time, Detail? Feels like you've been just sitting in back. Um, well, let's do this. At least it won't get two blocks off. Or maybe it won't even get one off. Keep at it, Karin. Man, that is one slow boss. But Karin's actually gotten a lot of speed since... Well, since whenever I thought of him as a slow character. Oh yes, healing, healing, healing. Fia, you're in her too. Feeling better? Good. Now the boss's area of effect attack seems to take about five turns to cool down. Which is unusual. I'm used to area of effect attacks only taking three turns. Not that I'm complaining, I hate those things. But it's unusual. Ha! Sucker! Ha! <laughs> I remember doing something like this several stages back. Oh, a few chapters back, actually. Back when we invaded the Way of Flowing Spirits with all those ghosts and the floating ghost tentacle thing. I surrounded her with all four of the Yuiki because the ghost kept attacking her. And she being weak against lightning. No, weak against darkness. Kept getting killed. Until I figured out the strategy. Hmm. Hmm. Well, that would work. <coughs> but now's not the time for that. Uh, 
All we need is your smiling face next to us, Yorin. I hate these guys so much. Okay, get closer to your home. If you're not close enough, you can't capture them. Well, awesome, now Risha has even more defense. Who needs healing? Keys near. Everybody's hurting to some degree or another. Everybody. But we've got all the vortexes sealed. That's good news. Pattern recognition, zero. Oh. No, it shouldn't have run out of spell points already. Nope, they totally ran out of spell points already. Oh, I see. It's already of effect attack takes 20 instead of 10. Oh. I should have mentioned, I think it's... Spell point regeneration is 10 per turn. At least that's been the standard that I've seen. So I, I assumed it was the case. Oh no, you're in. You're not close enough. I'm gonna have to bring out that stupid jerk. Hey, stupid jerk. Uh, <laughs> go over here and hit this guy. No, ignore the plant. It's the golems that matter. You know, if you're in this map for a, a little bit, you might see a different enemy show up. There's one of those... Uh, that flying lightning wasp looking thing. It got Eo killed in my practice run, actually. Not that it did any damage to Eo. Since his attacks are lightning based and Eo's really resistant to lightning, it didn't do any damage. But it also paralyzed her. Which lowered her dodge rate, which made the boss able to hit her. That sucked. And then Eo died, and everybody was sad. Okay, good news, this boss doesn't seem to have a determination. It's always a pain in the ass when I have to deal with that. I'm expecting another one of those area of effect attacks in a couple turns. Unless it's too dumb to save up 20 spell points, which it probably is. I see case in point. Well... Sure, take some hits. 
You know, I should have checked how much hit points he had left before I agreed to that. But it turned out alright in the end. Okay, everybody gang up on this last golem. Avaro, I'm disappointed in you. <laughs> Level 40, huh? Just grab it. Hey, another flight armband. I don't make too much use of that, but that's good. Alright. Flame on. Uh, first, run in, heal him up. Next, let's get you another full meal. Whoops. Great, I've got one sitting around. Well, he probably will kill it. Wait, treasure! I almost forgot the treasure! How could I? Okay. Forget the full mill. You better get double moves. Come on, this is the perfect time for double moves. Ha. Okay. I guess we wait till next turn to finish this guy off. You know, I'd like to attack it, but I don't feel like doing the math to figure out whether it will survive or not. Of course. <laughs> Earth shards. You know, I could have gotten without those. Alright, can you do it? Yes, you can. No, you can't. You're too slow. And I don't recall you ever getting a critical hit, so I don't need to worry about that. <clears throat> now, who's going to do it? Needs to be someone who can get double drops and who needs the experience. Uh, mm. All the guys who can equip the full mill are level 39 already. So, hell, Avaro, you do it. <laughs> oh, it's resistant to that, Avaro. What are you doing? Oh. I meant to show what it looked like. Hey, the Mullen ring! That's great! Doria and all that good stuff. But more importantly, it's a boss and I didn't show it. Now to figure out where it is. That's not it. Nope, it isn't. No. No. Hmm. Nope. Nope. Maybe I should have cleared out some of these news. A lot of them are not new anymore. Hey, there it is. It's big. Hard to say what it is exactly, but it's big. Anyway, we've been at this for a while, so I'm going to call it a day. 
thanks for watching and next time we're going to see what Avaro has to say. <laughs>